NASA is thinking right now if we should travel to Mars. And so we had a debate on whether we should make a community on Mars. And then we kind of made a community on Mars from Minecraft. I had heard about um, a lot of math classes and science classes using, using Minecraft as a learning tool and I wanted to jump on that bandwagon so I was trying to figure out a way that was natural in our course curriculum. So I just did a bunch of research and it was actually a really natural connection to the fifth grade math curriculum because the main geometry topic is calculating volume based on blocks which is what Minecraft is made out of. And I knew our kids were really, really engaged in Minecraft and they would really get excited about the learning. In science class, the main objective was for them to actually apply all the knowledge that we learned in science through our Mars unit. We were learning about um, going to Mars and the science behind space travel and um, learning about why um, there are different companies that are joining the race to go to Mars. We had um, the, one of the specialists who works on the ground systems development team at NASA actually visit Shorecrest and had a talk with the students about um, what type of science is being used, the mission to Mars, what is NASA actually doing, who are all the companies that are involved. We knew what to build on Mars because we like researched about Mars and we figured out like the best stuff that we should use on Mars depending on like what its environment is so that we can like have the different pods do different things. Some people had farming, some people had air quality, some people had food, some people had housing, some people had communication, etc. And every uh, group will get um, a pod and two choice pods to work on and if, for example, we did food production, the actual pod was food production. We had storage, a, f a garden, which um, one person would do, and the storage one white person would do, and the um, animal pod us uh, one person would do. We got our groups and we had to plan on these grid sheets. So this is like the map of what um, our Mars would look like with all the pods. We put pods close together if they needed to be next to each other for like um, water would be next to the food production pod so then they could water the plants to get the food. So the more important things would go in the center and then the things that didn't, um, that every pod didn't need would kind of go on the end. We also did um, our 3D planning where we planned how high it was going to be and then we went in Minecraft and actually built it and it was pretty fun. These are like interior pictures of the pods so you can see the interior view, the back view, the side view, and the aerial view. And then we had a paragraph on the things that we used to build it and we showed the volume of it as well. We figured out like what is like Mars and Mars's environment and how can we like build a structure that would be like stable in Mars and how to kind of make a community so that ev so that everyone relies on each other and so that it all works out. They were thrilled um, to see a real world application. They were eager to work on it the whole time just the conversations that they had, learning how to negotiate. Oh, well, my building should go here, and it should be next to you know, this particular building. They got to actually learn how to negotiate and talk about you know, um, what's more important than something else and learning how to kind of let go of maybe what they want and think about what's for the good of the actual Mars colony. I thought that was a huge experience for them. We would definitely do this project again. We're planning on doing it next year as a cross-curricular project with the whole grade level. Awesome. Amazing. Fantastic.